Some animals are big, because of course they are. Nobody's denying that. But some are so very big, you'll struggle to even believe they're real. Some are so big, they look like they belong in Jurassic Park. These are the 20 abnormally large animals that actually exist. Number 20. Manta Ray Arguably one of the most intriguing and beautiful creatures in the ocean today is that of the giant manta ray. It's also known as the giant oceanic manta ray and is the largest of the ray species and a specimen that's been in the eyes of many ocean researchers as a prime example of how grand that ocean life can be. This is mainly due to the fact that their size in terms of their wingspan, with many measuring over 24 feet and some stating that it might even be more like 30 depending upon the creature, a tall human is usually considered to be around 6 feet tall and that means that the giant manta ray is potentially 4 to 5 times larger than a human in terms of its wingspan. Now, that's a lot. Another interesting element of the giant manta ray is how it swims, depending on the waters that it's in. When it's in deeper waters, it can tend to just move in a straight line. However, when it's in more shallow waters and closer to the sun, it's been known to be more loose in its swim style and just swim idly around. But why is that? Well, nobody knows, but clearly it does work for the creature. A real treat for certain divers is when a pack of giant manta rays comes together in their pods, which can be up to 50 at times, making it something that's truly worthy to behold. Not to mention that these manta rays are very kind to humans, and as a result of that, people love to find them in order to swim alongside them, giving a truly memorable experience as a result. Despite their massive size though, they're mainly filter feeders, eating things like smaller fish and plankton, and not larger creatures, so they're not a threat to humans, and we're all grateful for that. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Would you just look at the sheer size of this pig? I've never seen a pig this size before. It's truly an abnormally large animal. It's mad that he even exists, but he does, and rather predictably, his name is Porky. At the time of the video, Porky holds the record for being the largest known pig on the planet. As always, comment down below using the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Hippopotamus so some out there in the world, the hippopotamus is a creature that's to be enjoyed and appreciated. They're the focus of the beloved kids game Hungry Hungry Hippos, and they're featured in movies like Madagascar, where they are creatures that have fun and don't really mind being all that huge. And yes, you will find those out there who believe that you can have a hippopotamus as a pet, and even do have them as proof. But let me be clear, these huge creatures aren't just girthy, they're one of the most dangerous dangerous creatures on the planet. Males usually measure in at 3.5 meters, stand about 1.5 meters, and weigh around 3,200 kilograms. In terms of physical size, they can be the larger sex, weighing about roughly 30% more than the female, but just to be clear, just because a female weighs 30% less, they do still weigh thousands of pounds. And that's where the danger comes in, because these creatures are large and in charge, but they're also fast. They can blitz you at up to 20 miles per hour. Just think about that. This is a creature that you would think is slow because of its size, but in fact it can cause stampedes, and whether on land or in the water, it can wreak a lot of havoc. So much so that people in Africa know to fear the hippo, because they're known to be super territorial, knocking over boats, and literally have bitten people in half before. Oh yeah, and based on pop culture, hippos are adorably large creatures, but if you meet one in the wild, you're going to have a much different experience, I guarantee it. Number 18. Rhinoceros 
The rhino is another creature that has a certain reputation in pop culture versus the real world, because if you look at the rhino species as a whole today, you'll find that humankind has ravaged these majestic creatures, and it's a fight just to keep them alive. Which is sad, because rhinoceros are herbivores, and while they will attack people, it's mainly because their territory gets invaded or they think that it's someone that's trying to attack them, which is more accurate than you may realize. These creatures can be about 12 feet long, and certain ones even weigh up to 6,000 pounds, though the average is more along the lines of 3 to 4,000 pounds, but even still, that's a whole lot of mass to come barreling down at you when they charge. And yes, if provoked, they do charge indeed. So why is it that the rhino, as a species, is in danger? Well, that would be because of the ivory of their horns. Ivory is a material that in certain parts of the world is incredibly valuable, so they hunt down creatures like the rhino to cut off their horns. And what's equally as bad at times is that if they do leave the rhino alive without its horn, it's all but doomed to a life of difficulty. Now it's true that these creatures are being fought for in terms of conservation. There are many attempts to try and sustain and rehabilitate the rhino population, but the problem is that the rhino species are still dying at quite a massive rate, and if things don't change, the whole species will be extinct, and it'd be very much our fault as humans. Number 17. Blue Whale the blue whale is a milestone creature in many ways, not the least of which is that most classify the blue whale as both the biggest creature to live on Earth today and possibly of all time depending on certain measurements that have been put out about it. Now, if you don't know, the blue whale has had an official length record of 98 feet and some unofficial lengths that have been recorded at well over that, which includes one that was said to be 108 feet. Others say that it could even be bigger than that. But surely these measurements aren't made up, right? Well, there has been suspect ways of measuring during the time that some of these blue whales have been found. So it is possible that some people exaggerated or overestimated just how big they actually were. Regardless of all that, the confirmed whales that have been measured are an impressive size and easily make it one of the biggest animals in the world today, if not the biggest. Not the least of which is because they can weigh over 440,000 pounds. Their very hearts within their body are said to be the size of a full-length vehicle. No other animal can even come close to the weight of this creature. And yet, that's sadly part of the problem, because as the blue whale has long been a target of the human world, as they were almost hunted to extinction within the 18th century, conservation efforts have been put into place, and blue whale hunting and killing has been banned in certain countries that have partook in this the most. The blue whale population, though, is still in danger, and likely will be for a long time. Number 16. African Bush Elephant There are all types of elephants out there in the world right now, and many of them are indeed rather large, but in terms of sheer size and mass, it's the African Bush Elephant that is the biggest of the big. Its height up to its shoulders can reach a mass of 13 feet, with its length getting up to 24 feet, and when you combine that, that allows this elephant to weigh over 10 tons. As such, the African bush elephant is held to the largest land animal in the world today. And if you're thinking, well, that must mean that they're hard creatures to take down, you'd be right. Because of how large they are, they have no natural predators or enemies to try and kill them. This goes double for when they're in a pack, because just think about it, would you really want to take on a herd of elephants? I didn't think so. And of course, the tragedy here is that like certain animals that I've already discussed, the African bush elephant is another species that's in danger due to human hands. Literally, in fact. Because like the rhino, the African bush elephant has ivory via its tusks and both ivory traffickers and poachers will kill these elephants in order to get it and then show off their new prize in terms of the elephant. What's more, its habitat is constantly being torn down by the ever-expanding human race, which is bad for them specifically because as social animals, they like to travel around, and if they leave this world, we're going to notice very quickly. 
Number 15. The Leeds Fish Now, if you've never heard of this creature of the deep, that's fine, because it's been extinct for quite some time. In fact, it's said that the Leeds Fish goes all the way back to the Jurassic period of life and has been gone ever since then. Depending on whom you believe, this might just be the biggest fish to have ever lived, which is saying something, but as you might have guessed, its name is more than just a clever pun. The Leeds fish is named after fossil collector Alfred Nicholson Leeds, who discovered it before 1886 near Peterborough, England. The fossils that were found by Leeds gave the fish the specific name because the remains were so fragmented that they were extremely hard to recognize and interpret. Well, you just need to find more remains, you might be crying out. Well, that's too bad they didn't think of that, right? Oh, wait, they did. In fact, over 70 individuals of this fish have been found, which is very impressive, but every single one of them have had issues that make it almost impossible to determine how big it could have been and exactly what it was like. The best guesses of various people who have studied this fish haven't been able to be definitive either. One comparison by a man who found it said that it could be about 30 feet long, while others say that it was actually bigger and some say much smaller. The fish also had very unusual proportions, and that's not really helpful when trying to get definitive answers. Now, what we can say is that it was a large creature based on what we know, but how large? Well, the world may never actually find out. Number 14. Colossal Squid You all know the stories, no doubt. Tales from fishermen of a giant squid or octopus that was massive enough to sink or even eat boats whole. This is the tale of the Kraken and uh, apparently it does exist. In pop culture, in myth, and even a rum brand, if we recall correctly, but if you're looking for actual squids that have the actual big size to them, you need to look at entities like the Colossal Squid. For a long time, this squid was thought to be something of a myth, that is, until it was washed up on the shore, and it shocked everyone. Mysteries of the deep, right? Well, not unlike the blue whale, there are some discrepancies in regards to the size of the colossal squid. Oh, look at the color change there! Most of them have been personally examined and measured to be about 15 feet. However, based on the remains of one, some say that they can get up to over 30 feet in length and weigh somewhere around 1,500 plus pounds. That all makes for a very big squid. Another thing that makes them so mythical even today is that while we do know they exist and we know something about their lifestyle, we don't really know a whole lot else. For example, if you want to find the adult versions of the squid, you'd need to go down deep into the ocean. I'm talking over 6,000 feet deep at times just to reach them, let alone study them. However, scientists have made various guesses on how they act, what they eat, and so on, but until we can study them constantly, they will remain a mystery to us. Number 13. Giant Pacific Octopus now, I just talked about a squid, so I'll move on to an octopus. Specifically, I'll talk about the giant Pacific octopus, which is believed to be the largest species in the world right now. Unlike the squid I just discussed, I do have an accurate measurement of what the giant Pacific octopus can be. One that was caught and measured actually weighed about 600 pounds and was 30 feet in length. So it's not as bulky as the squids, but they do have the size, that's for sure. What might surprise you though is that despite how large and likely menacing that this creature looks, it's not above using basic tricks to get away from foes like camouflage. The octopus is equipped with a special pigment cell called chromatophores just below the surface of the skin and that allows it to change color and blend in with rocky or coral-laden surroundings. There are many octopuses that actually have this kind of ability, but you wouldn't expect it from one so large as the giant Pacific octopus. Oh, and if you do want a reason not to mess with it, how about this? Their legendary ink that we all know that they squirt, well, it's in fact toxic. So toxic that if the octopus itself gets caught up in its own ink, 
it'll actually be poisoned by it and essentially it will commit suicide. They do hunt at night for shrimp, clams, lobsters, and fish, but have also been known to eat small sharks using their beak-like mouths to puncture their prey. I bet you forgot that octopuses have beaks, and you can only imagine how large the one on a 30-foot octopus looks. Number 12. Sea Scorpions Now it's time for another history lesson, but unlike the last one, you'll be glad that this one is extinct. Now when you typically think about scorpions, you probably picture those little ones scurrying around in the desert or the sand with their little tiny itty bitty stingers just trying to get at anything that they can. However, the sea scorpion, well, they were huge. But how huge? Well, about 8 feet long. For comparison, the largest scorpion in the world today on land is only 10 inches at max. Doing the math, that means that this sea scorpion is over 9 times as big as the biggest scorpion in the world today. But that's not all that made them terrifying, and something that I'm glad that's gone. Just think about how modern scorpions are for a second. If you can picture them, you probably think about the armor that they have on their bodies. But the sea scorpion? Well, this was likely because of the time period that they were in where predators were everywhere and you had to make sure that you could handle what was coming for you. Plus, like regular scorpions, they had tails that they would use to strike at their foes, as well as claws in order to attack them. So they were well armored, they had offensive capabilities, and that's pretty terrifying for something that comes in at 8 feet. Are you curious as to where the sea scorpions all went? and why they're not around today? Well, the answer was that there was an event called the Permian-Triassic Extinction. It was so terrifying and powerful that it actually wiped out about 90% of life on Earth, according to scientists, and these sea scorpions were in that 90%. Now, thankfully, evolution seemed to have realized that having massive scorpions wasn't really a good idea, so now we've ended up with the smaller ones. Number 11. Giant Chinese Salamander Next up we have the giant Chinese salamander, an animal that's known as a living fossil, and looking at it, it's not really hard to see why. To be clear, yes, this is a salamander, and it is the last species of the giant salamander on Earth. On average, most salamanders will fall between 4 to 8 inches, however, the giant Chinese salamander actually comes in at 6 feet long. Due to that size, it's the largest amphibian in the world today, and it's truly a one-of-a-kind creature amongst its species, because as noted, most of them are small. So this would be like if the sea scorpions were still around alongside other scorpions, but thankfully the giant Chinese salamander is not a threat to people. Well, we hope at least. This is a creature that's entirely aquatic, living in rocky hill streams and lakes with clear water, and typically lives in dark, muddy, or even rocky crevices along the banks. But in a twist, it's also not afraid to live at high elevations. There's even one sect of these creatures that can live on over 13,000 feet above sea level. Now, sadly, the giant Chinese salamander is actually almost extinct, currently labeled as critically endangered, which means that it's very much on the edge of dying out. The reason for this is that humans have ruined its habitat and even hurt the population through capturing and hunting them. There are a whole lot of efforts to try and restore them, even having farms for them in places like China, so hopefully this living fossil doesn't go extinct like its brethren. Number 10. Blossom the Cow Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet Blossom. Yes, Blossom is a cow, how observant of you, but what makes her so special for this list is that she is the largest cow ever. Well, next to my ex-girlfriend from high school, that is. <laughs> but how tall is our dear Blossom? Well, let's say she's 6 feet 4 inches tall. That's a hefty heifer, a behemoth of a bovine. Blossom lived on a farm in Orangeville, Illinois, and her owner, Patty Meads Hansen, got Blossom when the cow was only eight weeks old. One could only imagine her owner's thoughts when she went from a cute little calf to, well, Blossom. 
During her life, she was the official greeter for Memory Lane Crafting Retreat, one that was situated on the farm. But no doubt she brought a whole lot of people to the party, if you will, as this is definitely something you don't see every day. The reason that we're focusing on this cow is that it's a very large cow. Most farmers would literally kill to not just get this cow, but breed it so that they could have more massive cows on their farms. Usually when you think of a large cow, it's just a little bigger, but this was a lot bigger. And until one dethrones her, Blossom will forever be the biggest cow on the block. Number 9. Goliath Bird Eater now we go on to spiders, something that I hate. I hate talking about them, looking at them, thinking that they're crawling on me in my sleep. But this one is one that I hate the most because it's the largest of its kind. The Goliath bird eater is indeed the largest spider by mass, weighing in at about 6.2 ounces. And furthermore, it's able to get up to 12 inches in length at times, which puts it far above what most spiders or even ones like tarantulas get to in size. But I know what you're asking yourself. The all important question of, does it actually eat birds? Well, yes, yes it does. The spider has been witnessed eating birds, and that should tell you all that you really need to know about it, because if it's that big and it can eat birds, that's just wrong. Really, really wrong. And an absolute cert for the Deadly 60. So wrong, in fact, that some of you might be wondering if it'll hurt or even eat you if you get too close. Well, yes, it will try. It does have a bite that's venomous. It's not really enough to kill a human, but it can be likened to a wasp sting, which means that it's very painful and something like you likely wouldn't want to test your pain tolerance on. But wait, there's more. The Goliath bird eater can stick you with its barbs that it has on its legs. They're very detachable, and if they are able to get into your body or even into your eyeballs, you'll feel irritation for days before you're able to get them out. It's large, it's creepy, and it can be annoyingly painful. Sounds like a spider that I never want to meet if I have my way. Number 8. Zeus the Dog there are plenty of big dogs out there and certain species that are just massive from the get-go, but in terms of height, the title of tallest dog ever would go to the Great Dane known as Zeus. This particular Great Dane was measured on October 4th of 2011 at an astonishing 44 inches tall. That truly makes him the tallest dog in the world. Despite his height, he only weighed about 155 pounds, so I don't feel that he wasn't being fed enough as he ate about 15 pounds of food per week. That's a whole lot. The true height of Zeus came from his very long legs, which allowed him to be over 7 feet 4 inches tall when he stood on his hind legs, putting him on par with NBA basketball players. In fact, he was so tall that he could just walk up to the sink and drink from the tap. Sadly, Zeus passed away in 2014, but while he is long gone, there has been no dog that's been able to match his incredible height. Number 7. Darius the Rabbit now, you likely wouldn't think of a rabbit as being something that's large, but as I've already shown you, there are some species that can get quite large despite the rest of them being small. And for rabbits, the biggest one around was named Darius. Yes, that is a real picture of a real rabbit named Darius, and it was four feet long. Now, if you're wondering what species of rabbit he is, that would be the continental giant rabbit. So at the very least, it's partially explainable as to why it's so big. Could you just imagine finding a couple of these in your backyard? Probably swear that you were on something. Number 6. Liger now, this one's one that's fun to talk about, because what happens when you mix a tiger with a lion? Well, you get a liger, a truly massive entity that's well and good more than the sum of its parts. It's also like one of my favorite animals, uh, bred for its skills and magic. The average liger is about 12 feet long, and they're also very heavy creatures. 418 kilograms in regards to the largest one, but that doesn't stop them from running over 30 miles per hour on the ground. 
ground. Now, if you want to know what the biggest liger was, that would have been Hercules, a truly impressive specimen that lives at the Myrtle Beach Safari Wildlife Preserve in South Carolina. Some would rightfully note that we should do certain kinds of hybrid animals like Hercules, but in this case, we might just make an exception. I mean, come on, look at the thing. You can't tell me that it's not a cool creature that you'd totally want as a pet, or even to ride majestically into battle. Number 5. Massive Stingray Sometimes it's interesting how we find the biggest creatures around. Some of them are just found upon accident. Some are bred. Or in the case of one Babe McElroy, and yes, that is her real name, she went on to catch a whopper of a creature on our line and reel, a 185-pound stingray. Now, it's true that Babe was out on her boat with her husband during the Desk and Derrick Club's Diva Rodeo when she reeled in the behemoth that's bigger than she is, and that makes it quite impressive when you think about it. Now, seriously, just look at the pic of her and the stingray together. She actually caught that and that's awesome as well as all that she also beat the previous record by over 40 pounds and that makes it a truly big catch number four Japanese spider crab there are actually a few crabs that could have been put on this list in terms of large sizes, but the Japanese spider crab is special because it honestly looks impossibly large when you see how spread out that its legs can be. In fact, some of the first people who caught it named it Crabzilla due to just how massive that it was. The catch here is that you won't actually find this crab waddling around the beaches like other species. The Japanese spider crab can rest in spots almost 2,000 feet below sea level, which is why it's something that needs to be seen to be believed. Number 3. Medusa now, I'm not talking about the Gorgon, I'm talking about an actual snake, a reticulated python no less, which if you don't know is one of the largest snake species currently on Earth. To be clear, this particular snake is not the largest one ever measured, but at the time of her measuring, she was the largest one in captivity, meaning that she measured 25 feet 2 inches long in 2011, making her a truly long snake. The reason that I had to make the caveat about how big it was due to the fact that there are snakes in the wild that have been measured, including reticulated pythons that have been over 30 feet. Even still though, to see Medusa in person might make you feel like you've been turned to stone. Number 2. Lo Long the largest crocodile species in the world right now is the saltwater crocodile, and the largest of those to be measured was a behemoth known as Lo Long. But how big was Lo Long? Well, how about 20.24 feet and over 2,300 pounds? Yes, that is a behemoth no matter which way you slice it. And this behemoth of a crocodile took a long time to catch and a lot of effort to get caught. But even with that force, it took a lot of strength to bring it in. And after it was caught, it was put into captivity until it eventually died. Number 1. Big Bill Now, who is Big Bill, you may ask? Well, that would be the largest pig in the world, and the record holder to this day, in fact. Big Bill was a Poland-China breed who weighed in at a hefty 2,552 pounds and 9 feet long. This huge hog stood 5 feet to its shoulder, about the same as the average height of a 12-year-old girl. Now, that's a big pig plain and simple. And the ironic part, the owner got the pig for less than $4 because of some rather tragic circumstances involving its mother. This must have been some kind of pig to stand next to, you better believe it. That's all from the realm of animals that are really big and make us humans feel very small. Have you personally ever seen any of these animals up close? And do you think that there's a set of large animals out there that nobody knows about yet? Let me know which one of these was your favorite. Also, let me know your other thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to check out all the cool things that are popping up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. Next time.